Today on Judge Faith, was the rental ransacked or just returned like it was found? I decided this would be my opportunity to go see what was really going on in the apartment. The entire house was a hot mess express. Uh, I did call him the N-word one time. Oh, because don't, don't, because he what? sat there calling me a cracker. Calm down. If, if you, listen, okay. listen. Look, look at me, breathe. You can just relax and take a moment. I'm gonna go through the text messages. Faith Jenkins, her distinguished legal career began when she graduated first in her law school class. She quickly became a tough New York City prosecutor and then a preeminent legal analyst on cable news. And now she's the judge in her own courtroom. Her cases are real and her rulings are final. She is Judge Faith. Plaintiff Demi Drummer says his former tenant was nothing but trouble. He's suing for unpaid rent, security deposit, property damage, and stolen property. Defendant Mickey Brown says she doesn't owe anything because her former landlord was rude, crude, and disrespectful. She's countersuing for the cost of her dog, defamation of character, harassment, and pain and suffering. All rise. Court is in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, the litigants have been sworn in. This is the case of Drummer versus Brown. Thank you, Juan. Demi Drummer? Yes, Your Honor. You are suing the defendant, Mickey Brown, mm -hmm. for $2,206 for unpaid rent, security deposit, property damage, and stolen property? Yes, Your Honor. And you are countersuing, ma'am, for $5,000 for defamation of character, harassment, pain and suffering, and the cost of a dog. Correct. Okay, why don't we start with you, sir? Let me ask you, I understand that Ms. Brown was a tenant of yours in a property at some point. Yes, Your Can Honor. Can you tell me the dates? The dates was between mid-June to early July, 2015. So just one month? One week. A little less than that, yeah. One week, like one she said. One week, okay. Was there a written agreement between the two of you? No, we never okay. got to that point. So we're talking about one month, no written lease, and you say she never paid any money to live there, One right? Week. Okay, so take me from the beginning. Tell me what happened. So I met Michelle through, she gave me a call through a Craigslist ad I put up uh, for an apartment I had for rent in my four family house. Uh, she gave me this sob story that she, at her previous apartment, she lost everything due to an electrical fire and she had nothing, and she was staying out of an extended stay hotel with her husband, and... That is a sad story. So what yeah, happened? It, it was sad at the time. I, 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 I was like, oh my goodness, this is terrible. Nobody should have to go through this traumatic thing or whatever. So why are you telling me that? Because what? Did you, did you get a security deposit from her? No, I did not. Did you not. get any rent from her? No, I did not. Okay, you let her move in without giving you any money. Correct. How old are you? I, I how old are you? First story. I'm how, 24. How, you're 24. But okay. I look 16. And thank and you, you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you own an apartment building, right? Yes, I do. Do you live there? I do. Okay, so yes. you live in one of the units. Yes. But how many units are in the building? There are four: two bedrooms each, one bathroom. Okay, so you, at 24 years old, you own a four apartment unit building. Your Honor, you ain't got to toot my horn like that. But, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just, I, yes. I just wanted to get this established. Yes, right? It, These are the facts, right? Let's put that out there, okay. Okay, because you, most landlords don't allow people to move into their apartments without giving them any money. I'm inexperienced. This is, it's kind of new to me. I just That was a rookie mistake. Body. Yeah, that was a big rookie mistake, okay, real big. go ahead. So what happens? Why so, did you do that? She's telling me all these things like she's at a like at a really low point in her life, and you know I, I'm I'm a Gemini, I'm emotional, so I'm like, oh my goodness, if I went through a fire and like lost all my clothes I didn't get from Goodwill and all that stuff, I'd just be out of it. So I'm like, you know what? Forget whatever process I have in checking in tenants and all that because I had other people I could have looked at mm -hmm. and moved in, and so I said, you know what? I feel for you. I want to alleviate. The, the pain that you're going through right now, I will give you the keys to the apartment today. And here we are today. And here How did we that work are out today. for you? Sadly. So, what, what do you say the conversation was, ma'am, when you moved in? Um, we got an electrical fire, and that's what I called, and I told him about it. I never told him I lost everything. I didn't lose everything, I lost a lot. I lost my home um, until it's being redone. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, that's okay. Um, that's what insurance is for. 
I want to understand the arrangement the two of you had because you moved in and didn't pay anything and now he's suing you. We had no what arrangement. What was the arrangement? We had no arrangement. What was the we, agreement? There was none. Um, that the next month... Was there no understanding that you would pay There was rent? no lease sign. There was... I never established... I only lived there seven days. I never established residency. I never brought in any kind of furniture. I wanted she, nothing to do with that but place. But you expected to pay rent at some point, right? Yeah, I mean, if I was going to stay there, but I didn't stay there, and I had no plan on staying there. You only there. lived there for seven days. I remodeled the kitchen for him while I was there. In seven days? <laughs> yes, I did. Let me stop you. Let me let me help you understand something. There does not have to be a written lease in right. place for you to owe rent. When you move in somewhere and you agree to be a tenant and you agree to live there, you got to pay. Right. He told me if I did the kitchen, I wouldn't have to pay till August. <laughs> okay. When? Did you say that? Her memory is clearly fogged. I redid, I redid, I think. Did you tell her if she remodeled the kitchen, she did not have to pay rent until August? First off, we came to that agreement when she called me proposing that she painted my kitchen cabinets and redid the floor. Because I previously told her that when she moved in that I may be in from time to time to make improvements on the apartment. I would have never came to that agreement if she didn't approach me about it. And the agreement was that she would do that to cover the June's rent. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Coming up on Judge Faith, had the rental gone to the dogs? You say that there was a dead dog you found in the apartment. Allegedly, her friend beat the dog to death. That's a, my, guy, my dog died at Webster Groves Animal Hospital. Plaintiff Demi Drummer says his former tenant caused problems from day one. He's suing for unpaid rent, security deposit, property damage, and stolen property. Defendant Mickey Brown says she doesn't owe anything because Demi made her short stay unbearable. She's counter suing for the cost of her dog, defamation of character, harassment, and pain and suffering. Okay, what is this a photo of, sir? Well, that big, beautiful air mattress is the air mattress I lent to the roommate that she decided to move in like two days after she moved into the apartment, where also the dead... So now there's... How many people were living there? My husband and I, and then his friend, who actually... It was his friend who actually was in that room. His friend. Your <laughs> friend. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, did you not have another friend living no, in the apartment? No, no, I did not. Okay. My husband and I Go don't ahead. have Go ahead, sir. Honor. Crime in the court. Last time I checked, but okay. What's a crime? <gasps> Perjury. What is this a photo of, sir? In the middle is a pile of stolen clothes mm -hmm. surrounded by dog feces and, and you urine. That. Wait, you, you had, had dogs? No, 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 no. I moved out. She I moved had a out zoo. after a week. When I left there, it was spotless. He signed a lease with them. That's <laughs> all their stuff. But there was no None paperwork. None of my stuff so was in there. there. Next photo. You see that right there? That To the right. That's a range. These are the people that Ms. Brown associates herself with. I don't... I, I have family members who stay in that building. My mother stays in that building. My sister stays in that building. My three-year-old niece stays in that building. There is no way I would expose my niece to people who, who, who would have a syringe sitting in the bathroom mirror or have a rat in a kitchen pantry. And mm. it's not a rat, it's a gerbil. And it's my That bed. you left there. And so that was yours. Just, no, that was... none of that was mine. The, he took this the, picture. How'd you know it was a gerbil and not a because rat? Because it's my rat. He took that picture when, when I lived there. The seven For days the seven that you days, were there. Yes. What about oh, the syringe? No, I don't, I don't have no So why I did no you idea. move out after, why did you move out? Okay, calm down, you. calm if, down. If you, listen, okay. listen, look, look at me, breathe. You lived there, why did you move out after seven days? Because it, my life was threatened. It was a horrible neighborhood. Okay. I don't do drugs, I don't like drugs. When you moved out, ma'am, did you take all of your property yes, and yes, everyone else with you when you vacated? Yes, I did. Okay, sir, my question for you is, what was the reason she gave you, you claim, for not paying rent or for being late? So for July's rent, we were having a back and forth because I stated to her that I was kind of uncomfortable with the people she was bringing around to the household. And Did he tell you that, ma'am? I didn't live there in July. I, I lived in my, in my new apartment in July. Okay, go ahead. Which, to bounce off of that, she said when she left in June, she said she left because her pop-pop was sick. And he eventually, unfortunately, ended up dying. You told him that your father died? Yeah, he did. Okay, but it's not your father, it's your husband's father. It's my husband's father, yeah, but I've been married for 16 years. So you're saying I, he was like a father to you? Yes, he was. Okay, and you say that's not what she told you? That's not what she what told me What did she tell you? All. She basically said her papa was sick and so that's when she like went 
ghost, Carmen San Diego, on me and stuff, and disappeared. Mm -hmm. And then she said, eventually, like a few days later, her father died, and she's basically an orphan. Did she tell you she was coming back? Yes, she did. Okay, do you have any of that via text message? May I see your text messages, please? Just give me all of your text messages. Give me your phone. Text messages, phone. Friday, June 26th. He writes to you, hey, I'm going out of town Sunday for a week. I expect the lease to be signed by then. If a lease is not signed before I leave, I have no other choice but to start the eviction process. I'm uncomfortable with having someone I do not know stay in this building while neither one of you are present with a number of animals. Someone else was there with animals. Who's that person? No, they, they were watching my two dogs. Who's that person? His friend, who actually is his friend. Okay, ma'am, you gotta stop. Because these are obviously people you know who are we in both, the apartment. We both knew them. Okay, forget, forget who he knows. Okay. And you have them there watching your two dogs, mm -hmm. right? I paid them, yes. Okay, so you haven't moved out of the apartment in just one week because your two dogs are still there. Am no, I right? Just my dogs were okay. there. I was not you, there. So you haven't moved out there. because your dogs are there. So your your dogs get to live in the apartment for free? Uh, they were they were sleeping outside, and he. That's had not a, what you no, said. No. That's not what you said. And he had, can I tell you something? No, ma you can't. So you so we went from you move you're moved out after a week. No one's there except his friends. But now you have two people there watching your two dogs. Am I oh, right? No. Four dogs, cat, and rat. And your gerbil. You write to him. My pop pop has now passed away. I'm officially an orphan. Yes, I did say that. Because I am. My mom died, and now my dad is dead. Okay. Okay. He writes to you. He's complaining because there are people there that he says are selling drugs and trying to sell stuff to his tenants. He writes this to you. You say, don't worry. No one's safety is in jeopardy. That's he writes back to you. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about my property. Oh, this is interesting. My pop-pop left me a very large life insurance policy, and I'm the sole beneficiary. Mm. He did? Not he didn't leave it to your not husband? Not very large, but yeah, he left me money. Yes, he did. Okay, he left you a life insurance well, policy. Well, my husband and I, yes. Mm -hmm. She said she was blowing her nose with $20 bills. It seemed like there was a lot of text messages that were missing where he told me that... Um, Ma'am, what is I... clear to me is you wanted to generate sympathy for yourself... No, I did ...to not. prolong the fact that you were still there and you had not signed a lease, you had not paid any rent, and you were trying to buy yourself some time. Coming up is the truth in the text messages. Hell, KKK. I would never say that. <laughs> you took it to that level. Plaintiff Demi Drummer says Mickey didn't pay rent and left the apartment a wreck. He's suing for unpaid rent, security deposit, property damage, and stolen property. Defendant Mickey Brown says she doesn't owe anything because the seven days she stayed in the apartment were unbearable. She's countersuing for the cost of her dog, defamation of character, harassment, and pain and suffering. What is your counterclaim about, ma'am? Um, harassment. Uh, first of all, let's hear. Let's do. Look at the real text messages from you. Three, three, seven. I would like. Please to see give these. me the text messages. Juan, hand those to me, please. How Where did he harass you? He talks about uh, how my dad is dead now, along with my dead dog, where they're where, where they're supposed to be. Did you know the two people that she's saying are your friends? Did you know them prior to her moving in? I wouldn't have known them from a can of paint. Okay. Until she introduced <laughs> me to them and yet those two are responsible for my property being stolen. So Not true. with that oh being said, let's continue to what, what the question was. What were the circumstances of, you say the dog, there was a dead dog you found in the apartment? Allegedly, her friend beat the dog to death. Now, previously, I never entered her apartment because I, I, I try to be a professional landlord and respect people's privacy. Mm -hmm. So being concerned for the animals because there was a nasty smell emanating from the apartment throughout the house, I decided this would be my opportunity to go see what was really going on in the apartment. Mm -hmm. So I enter the apartment, Why? see nothing but feces and urine and dog fur. So I go into that room and on that wonderful air mattress, which I provided to them, I saw a dog that was motionless. I look, I saw the dog, I'm like, oh my good, oh, that dog did. And so I, 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 I left the room and continued exploring because the entire house was a hot mess express. <laughs> so. I saw clothes on the floor in a basket that looked familiar. 
I grabbed a basket, went to my tenant, stolen clothes. They stole from other Not tenants. Me. I okay. called Miss Brown and said her dog was dead and she came to get the no, dog. Okay, so, let me ask you something. My, guy, my dog died at Webster Groves Animal Hospital. After that, um, did she ever come back to the apartment again? After she got her dog, she never came back to the apartment. You never heard from her again? Oh, I heard from her after that. Your Honor. Things went way downhill after that. Okay, and I'm looking at the text messages. Why don't you stand up? Okay, what is it that you want me to see, sir? She asked about the dogs. I wasn't concerned about the dogs. I just wanted her gone. I found out the dog was dead. She's starting to get ignorant. I said, good luck with whatever's going on and your dead dog. Then she just went out of control. The N-word, I'm N-word this. The only good N-word is a dead N-word. My, my grandpa used to own N-words. I'm the scum of the earth. Did I'm, you say that to him? Uh, I did call him the N-word one time. Oh, because, <laughs> because he what? sat there calling me a cracker. Crack? You, oh, here, Demi. Oh, let's, hold let's on go a second, hold on a second, hold on you a second. You call me. Mr. Drummer never calls you any names. Oh, really? He... <sighs> he wrote to you, good luck finding your dogs. Your dogs had run off, run off ma'am? No, they didn't. My dogs were at my house with me. One dog okay. was dead, one dog ran away. Oh, uh, my dog died. He wrote to oh. you, good luck finding your dogs. Liar. You wrote, like my daddy used to say, the only good <laughs> is a dead No, I did not say that. I did but not I'm say that. But I'm crazy. Demi, what, ma'am? Hell, uh, KKK. <laughs> I would you never took it that. to that level. No, you know what? I'm she all right. In. I'm done. I'm done <sighs> hearing all of this. There's nothing more to be said. You're a liar. You want to call him what you want to call him. You want to be ignorant. If both of you want to call each other names, right. doesn't matter. I'm here to decide the rent. Coming up, Judge Faith rules. And now, Judge Faith rules. This is a month-to-month -month tenancy because, as you told me, we didn't sign a lease. Now, in your mind, there's no proof that you have to pay rent. That's not the way it works. Clearly, there's an agreement here that you have to pay rent, especially for July, because we're not talking about bartering for kitchen uh, renovations or anything like that. July is strictly rent. But not only that, it's, it's, it, when it's a oral lease, you still have to give 30 days notice when you're moving out. And here you are, July 4th, your dogs are still there. You haven't given him 30 days notice that you're vacating. When are you taking your dogs? When are you leaving with your dogs? So not only do you owe for July, you also owe for August. Lesson to you, when you have someone move in to your place, get your lease in writing. No one moves in without giving you money. You don't put keys in this hand without cash or money coming in this hand. That is the rule, and there are no exceptions, because you wouldn't be in this position today. The number one rule that landlords should stick to, you don't give someone possession of your apartment without collecting rent. You had someone there who never paid you a single dime, and she left, and I believe those photos are accurate, she left the place in a mess. Counterclaim is dismissed, just awesome. before the plaintiff, $2,206. You need to court for this, Demi. Tell me my money. You're gonna need it for the house, Demi. Uh, You're gonna need it for the house. I feel like Judge Faith's ruling was fair. She obviously saw through her lies and the deception that she kind of, or the facade she put on me in order to get an apartment and do whatever in the world her and her friends do. So it was a good ruling. I win. Yay me. Money. My dog and my dad are dead in the ground where they belong. Tell me what a wonderful person he is, you guys. You guys didn't hear any of that, did you? You know, and then you're clapping. You guys don't know Demi Drummer. If you or someone you know has a dispute, don't take the law into your own hands. Let Judge Faith rule on it for you. To submit your case, go to judgefaith.com and tell us your story. See you in court.